going to step down as the president. Quit and do it without telling Jeannie Buss. He didn't want to work hard enough for what that position demanded. Magic Johnson didn't stick around to fire Luke Walton. Those that remain decided Walton would be out. The negotiations between the Lakers and Ty Lue have reached an impasse without a deal to make him the franchise's next head coach. If y'all don't give me the coach I want, trade. Angry fans staged a protest outside Staples Center. The Lakers hired Frank Vogel as head coach on a three-year deal. Jason Kidd will also join the staff. Frank Vogel is not going to last long unless something happens with Jason Kidd. This is a dysfunctional franchise. Genie, bad decision. Welcome back to First Take. Let's get right into this again. You know, one of the positions that I've taken was that Magic Johnson is an overseer. People below you are supposed to, subordinates are supposed to pound that pavement, bring you the info, and then you are the decision maker because right. that obviously was what was lacking for years before you arrived. Rick Buecher goes on FS1 weeks or uh, days, rather, after your resignation, and he said that there were some critical emails about you that were exchanged between Rob Palenka and owner Jeannie Buss, and eventually you got wind of that. First of all, I want to know, is there any truth to that? And, and number two, and more importantly, um, the emails, what were said in the emails? Stephen, I don't know if emails were sent because I didn't see those emails. Okay. And uh, I only heard about it after Rick wrote that story. Um, I didn't ask Jeannie or anybody about him because, you know, now it didn't matter. Even today, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm not a guy who holds grudges, and, and I don't want to sit here and um, just say everything in Lakerland is bad because it's not. Uh, you still have LeBron. You still have a, a great young core. Brandon Ingram is special. Kyle Kuzma is special. We have a chance to really, if we stick to the game plan that I had built, right, and mm -hmm. say we sign a free agent this summer, the Lakers will be right back in the hunt. And so, so I don't know about the emails, um, but again, if it's true, these are things that also bother me, right? right? Legacy of Magic Johnson. We know what a champion you have been. Mm -hmm. But you walked away from the Lakers job. Right. It's family. You walked away from the Lakers job. Concerned at all about how you're viewed because of your willingness to walk away mm -hmm. or not concerned at all? Not concerned. Because, you know, I gave everything I had to get the Lakers going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And I, I still feel we're headed in the right direction if we score this summer. Um, when you, you can't judge a man unless you walk in that man's shoes. It's, it's hard to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm strong, super strong. I'm just like my father. I'm strong. I have the personality of my mother. But even myself, it's only so much I'm going to take and deal with. I'm going to always love Jeannie. That's my sister. I'm going to always be a Laker. If Laker fans or other people thought that, hey, it was bad the way I made the decision mm -hmm. or the decision to leave, that's up to them. But I am a happy person right now. Uh, I gave up a lot to take that Laker job, right? I gave up weekends with my wife. We, we go out every weekend. And so Friday now, I couldn't go out. Sunday, I couldn't go take her to the movies anymore. The things that I had to give up to take that job, and I, I was willing to do that for three years. I was willing to do that. So, um, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm just going to be a happy man. I'm running my business. I'm extremely happy. And, again, I'm going to support the Lakers. But let, let, let's dissect this before I go back to Max and Molly. You love Jeannie Buss. Yeah. But she emotional. She's emotional, mm -hmm. according to you. And as a result, she loves the people that are within the Lakers organization. So she's 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 emotional in that regard. Right. You've got a GM that essentially you said is backstabbed you. If you are the Los Angeles, like you got Tim Harris on the business side that's infiltrating the basketball mm -hmm. side. With all of that being said, why should LeBron James want to stay in LA? Because he has a chance to turn it around. Listen, the young core is special. The young core is special. And if you put, I don't care who the free agent is, one of those free agents, 
Kyrie, mm -hmm. Kawhi, I don't care who it is. One of those guys. You can see them all now. You yeah, don't have to yeah. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see them all hey. now. Tampering <laughs> days are over. Mommy, I've been fine enough. I've been fine enough. It ain't, ain't going to be Kawhi, but who made a year of the AD? That's right. That's right. You know, AD. I, I can see them all now. That's Anthony right. Davis. That's right. You can see them all. No problem. But go ahead. Just get one of those guys with LeBron. And then you use the mid-level to get a shooter. The Lakers are right back in it because there's one special team. That's Golden State. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is about even. And they're not special. There's one special team, and that's Golden State Warriors. Okay. The man in his day and the icon of the Lakers, Magic Johnson, is also a businessman who owns part of a team, a major sports franchise, and I imagine would be a dream one day to own the Lakers. Mm -hmm. The man in the next era was Kobe Bryant, who when people are like, I bring up Palinka, Kobe's the power behind, oh, you think Kobe wants to run the Lakers? No, I think Kobe wants to buy the Lakers. LeBron James obviously has made public his sentiment that he wants to eventually own a team. Right. I look at what just happened, Magic. You're out. Mm -hmm. LeBron's power of the franchise is diminished. Didn't wind up getting his coach. Kobe's guy, Palinka, is entrenched. To me, this adds up to he's in a better position eventually to buy that team. You mentioned a couple siblings aren't happy with their positions. Then you or LeBron. Do you ever want to buy the Lakers? Do oh, you think Kobe does? If the Lakers were up for sale tomorrow, yes, I'd be running up to Jeannie and say, let me buy them. And I think, uh, listen, the, long, the list would be long. And, uh, of course, Kobe would want to buy them. And if LeBron <laughs> was not a player or, or out the league, he would want to buy them. I mean, listen, it's a gold mine. The Lakers are a gold mine. Even with us not making a playoff, do you know we've sold out every single season? The, listen, we were up 31% mm. viewership with LeBron. We're the, still the number one in selling jerseys this season, the Lakers. And by, I by, mean, so, so, so it's a gold mine. It's real, iconic, the first gold. Real quick, not, like, there, there are five bus siblings, I think, right now, and, mm. and not all of them, you know, it's, it's a family business. Not right. all of them had salaries, $100 million a year, right. or something like people might imagine. Right. There's some financial pressure. The Clippers sold for $2.2 billion five years ago. The mm -hmm. Lakers must be $4.4 4 at least. Or, le or, yes, or $5 billion. It seems to me there are those mm -hmm. jockeying to buy the team. Well, listen, I, I would be too. I mean, <laughs> the Lakers are still the premier team in the NBA. Mm -hmm. the, the organization is, 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 is incre incredible. And we're number one in social media. All those type of things. People love the Lakers around the world, not here in the United States, around Number the world. One brand. Clippers sold for $2 billion. Lord knows what the Lakers would be worth. Yeah. In light of everything that you've highlighted that's going on with the Los Angeles Lakers, even with the promise of a better future, do you think Jeannie Buss should sell? And the buses? <sighs> I, I never, ever wanted Jeannie to sell. And, and, and now... I'm emotional because of the dad. So, see, so sometimes yeah. you say, hey, don't Dr. sell. Jerry, Dr. Dr. Jerry Buss, who passed away a, in a, exactly. 2013. It was yes. like a father figure to me. Right. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I would say, don't sell. Now, have things changed with all these super billionaires coming into the league? Yes, things are changing. And so uh, I don't know if she's ever going to sell, but if she decides to sell, it'll go for a lot of money. And I'll be knocking on her door, uh, probably Kobe and I, one A and one B. <laughs> based on what, based on what you've told us, are you worried? And I don't mean devaluing the franchise monetarily, because we understand the Lakers are the Lakers. Right. But I'm looking at the Clippers, mm -hmm. Ballmer, mm -hmm. the billionaire, right. Jerry West. Mm -hmm. You know what Jerry West means to mm -hmm. basketball. Why is he uh, on the Lakers? Lawrence Frank, Doc mm -hmm. Rivers is the coach. Yep. And, I'm, and they're right there in L.A. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at it from the perspective that there's somebody coming up at the hills. It will always be a Lakers town. I'm not mm -hmm. refuting that. Right. But I'm asking the question because is it a situation where what's going on with the Lakers is actually hurting the franchise in some way? No, no. Okay. No, I think you respect everything that Balmer and the Clippers are doing. And, and, and Doc Rivers is special. 
special, man. Yes, he is. He's special. Uh, great friend. I think when you think about now, that pecking order is Steve Kerr, Doc Rivers, and Popovich, right? Those are the three special guys. And there's some more. Coach Bud is doing a wonderful job in Milwaukee and on and on and on. I, and I tell you what, I, I know this is, I'm going to change this subject. Zion got lucky because Alvin Gentry can coach. Yes, he, he can. can. Mm -hmm. Yes, he can. They have a lot of assets to build a team around. Alvin Zion. Gentry can coach. He shouldn't think about all this craziness people are talking about. You go to New Orleans and you got a great coach that's going to help him get better because he needs to work on some skills that he doesn't have right now. And, and Alvin will, Matt, will do that for him. I can't let go of this, like, ownership thing. Um, AEG and Schutz yeah. has 30% of the team. That's right. And I believe they have the right of first refusal if the Lakers are ever sold. That's right. Between you and Kobe and LeBron, mm -hmm. who has the closest relationship with Anschutz? I'm curious. The closest? I don't know Kobe's relationship with Mr. Anschutz. I know I got a good relationship with him. You know, it goes all the way back. And not just with him, with AEG. Um, and I help AEG sell suites and all that. Matter of fact, I own a suite there myself. So... Uh, Mr. Anschutz is a great man, a, a, a religious man. Uh, so he would have first right if the Lakers ever went, uh, went up for sale. Is, is what we're seeing now, the growing pains with the Lakers or the struggles, based on the fact that it really was once upon a time a family business? Mm -hmm. The greatest owner by far in the history of American team sports, the record shows, was the late, great Dr. Jerry Buss. Right. He has passed. Right. It's corporate ownership in the NBA, almost exclusively multi, 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 multi billionaires. Is what's happening that you can't really run a family business in the NBA anymore? I, I'm not going to say that, Max. I think that it's harder to run it. I wouldn't say that you can't do it. I, I, th I just think that Jeannie has to just say, okay, you're in charge of this. You're in charge of that. Mm -hmm. You guys just do your job. And, and she's a wonderful overseer. It's just too many people have too many opinions and too much power. Too many voices and, clouding and, judgment. Exactly. Let me get in here because you mentioned New Orleans, and I want to I talk some hoops for a second. Anthony Davis, mm -hmm. if you could go back, would you change how you handled that at all in trying to acquire him? No. No. I'm, <laughs> what else can he I, offer I, the whole there, team? There, there's a theme here, Molly. Yeah. I, I'm not a regretful guy. Yeah. You're right. I offer a lot of guys, but you have to do that for Anthony Davis. He's a special player. And the guys that we were going to trade to the Pelicans is special as well. I think, and I told Dale Demps, let's just do it in private. Let's, what, what we offer, let's keep it between us. Mm -hmm. Well, Dale didn't do that. So that's how it got out, mm -hmm. right? Del and Demps. so Del Dale Demps, right. the general manager of the Pelicans Former at that time. Managers. Exactly. Uh, Langdon, uh, great Trajan, job. Trajan Langdon. And, and also uh, the former from uh, Griffin. Yes, mm -hmm. David Griffin. Great, two hires, great two hires. Um, I would say that I told Brandon, Kyle, all the young guys, Ball, if you're in the business long enough, your name is going to get mentioned in trades. Don't take it personally. So what happened was about that first week, they did take it personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our writers back home wrote a lot of stories, but I give all of them credit. Brandon Ingram put together a 10-game stretch. He was unstoppable. Mm -hmm. The things that I thought he could do, he did them in those 10 mm -hmm. games. I'm telling you, Molly, Molly this guy is special. Mm -hmm. He guarded Kyrie Irving one night. He's on Kevin Durant another night. So you can play him on different guys. Mm -hmm. He is special. Now he's healthy. I'm glad that surgery went well. Mm -hmm. And then Kyle Kuzma scored 29 points the next, uh, mm -hmm. after that, <laughs> that debacle in Indianapolis where we just got blown out. Yeah. Kyle Kuzma went to Boston, 29. Mm -hmm. He then came to Philly, had 30 at halftime, mm -hmm. finished with, I think, 40, yeah. I couldn't remember the, the mm -hmm. ending, 46, 40. Something like um, that. But he got himself together and started hooping yep. and started playing basketball. Right. And they all did. Right. So... 
I wouldn't change anything mm -hmm. because that's my job is yeah, to make the business. Lakers better. Let's see if you got the same answer when we come back for a commercial break. In terms of that subject right there, I got a couple of more questions okay. for you. Okay, come on with Let's it. Let's go. Okay. Come on Let's with go. it. Because, you know, you know I, I'm not scared. <laughs> Magic is in hiding. He's with us the entire first hour. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.